hello guys in this video i will talk about finally block in java so what does it mean by finally block and why we have a finally block you know sometimes what happens is uh, when uh, there is any uh, error or uh, it basically it's not a error let's say when you have any exceptions or uh, any checked or unchecked exceptions which is not handled by the catch block so it will not go to the catch block okay it will not go to the catch block and your program will get terminated but you have a requirement where when there is any exceptions in the program you want to perform certain task when exception comes so in that case we can go for finally block so the name itself in indicates that finally means no matter what it is finally block will always get executed okay so look at the example here here in the try block you will get arithmetic exceptions right but in the catch block we have only a null pointer right and we have a requirement where we have some db connections or we have some resources let's say we are working with the excel sheet so that i need to be closed the input stream need to be closed or db connection needs to be closed so we can write a finally block so after catch we can write a finally block so when we write the finally block when error exception comes at the line number i is equal to 9 by 0 so what happens is it will go to the catch but in the catch we are not handling the arithmetic exception so it will go to the finally and finally will get executed this is the benefit of it so if you look at the output here exception scheme and then you know i am finally finally is getting executed right this is the benefit of finally block each finally block will get executed if we have a return statement in the try block okay yes this is very important interview program questions people will ask you you have a try block look at this you have a try block and here in the try block you have a return so when you have a return in the try block will the finally will get executed yes finally will get executed so in general when there is any return in your program compiler mainly will return from there itself okay if there is any method which has a return after that none of the line will get executed and first of all you cannot write itself if you write that you will get a compile time error after return return should be the end of the uh, program when you are writing something after return a statement which is not applicable okay you cannot write in the java but even you have a return in the try block and you have a finally block still you finally will get executed okay and if you run this program your output will be i am finally your output will be i am finally now the most important things uh, which i can show you through one example let me do one thing let me create a class let's say finally in java make a main method and uh, i will just write here int a is equal to 9 by 0 just to show you and let me let me surround this with a try catch block okay then i will write finally i am finally okay now if i run this definitely finally will get executed see i am finally finally exception came arithmetic and finally got executed now is it possible to write try with finally yes it is possible you can write try with finally here we cannot write catch block right you will not get any error but when you don't have finally then you have to write catch block otherwise you will get a compile time error because when something you have in, in the try 
there should be a placeholder that will catch your exceptions right so either you write a catch or you write a finally okay so when you write a finally you will not get any error so after try you can just write a finally which is also perfectly fine there is no problem at all right but when you don't have finally you have to write a catch block right otherwise you will get error in your program and with this we are done with finally in java thank you guys thank you for uh, watching this and with this we are done with exception handling in the java